just bought this Metzler Juca or Yuka boat from Germany. And I don't think I've got all the pieces because it's got a sailboat. Uh, I mean a sail here. And I don't have the mast. And I've got these two pieces that I don't really know where they go. But the other pieces are the seats and the oars. And a couple of the transoms. Maybe an inside and an outside. And I'm going to show you guys after I get this thing inflated how it goes together. But I don't think I'm going to be having these because they're probably something to do with the sail. Like a keel or something like that. Alright. It's made in Germany. It's got a stamp on the, on the wood beautiful wood that I'd like to restore. It's plywood. And I think this boat is from 1985. So this definitely needs some new varnish. And the rubber probably needs some armor oil or something to condition it. But I had it inflated once and it hasn't leaked. So I'm going to inflate it again and put it together this time. and see what else I need because I don't really have any hardware either I'm gonna have to find something to bolt it together not bad for a couple hundred bucks I think it's uh, at least 11 foot all right we'll see you next time So here's a uh, document label on it. Um, it's got a DIN number, 7870. Sport boot, uh, sport boat, uh, Juka, adults four and a child. 500 pounds, six horsepower, yeah, made in West Germany. It's also got a little sticker on the floor. It says 0 0.3 bar and 4.2 PSI. Which is not very much at all, but I think once it's inflated, it's pretty rigid. You can walk on this inflated floor. So that's pretty cool. It's got uh, four of these two-way fill plugs. But yeah. Loosen off, fiddle it up, tighten it down, and everything still works. So the other thing I have here is the original um, air pump that it came with. It says Metzler right on it. And it's got a fitting right there but or the tube is missing and this tube right here doesn't actually fit it but I do have the proper end that will go on to filling this boat so I could if I wanted to use this but I'm not going to do that either I'm going to take this off and I'm going to use my compressor okay so I got the transom on the rear. It's got four rubber mounts that it goes on to. It's much easier to do with the boat deflated. I had it half inflated and it was just a little bit too tight to be putting this thing on. So the floor is uh, half inflated. So I'm gonna fill up the sides here now. Uh, just uh, some tips is I put the top ones in first and then realized I had to deflate it. And uh, then the bottom ones went in a lot easier. Okay, 